Hello YouTube friends, in this video I'm going to be showing you what you get, what you end up with when you have a sum like this right over here at the top of the screen a half plus a quarter plus, plus an eighth plus a sixteenth plus dot 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 plus one over two to the power of n minus one plus one over two to the power of n okay I'm going to show you what happens when you have a sum like this and you go all the way to infinity. Well, first of all, this sum over here that we see above is in fact 1 over 2 to the power of 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 2 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 2 to the power of 4 plus dot 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 plus 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 1 over 2 to the power of n okay and this is equal to the sum of 1 over 2 to the power of r starting at r equals 1 to the term n okay now what I'm going to be showing you is that if we go all the way to infinity okay so let's say we have the sum of 1 over 2 to the power of r starting at r equals 1 to infinity let me just sort this out over here we will in fact get 1 okay I'm gonna be showing you in this video that um, if you go up to infinity terms you're going to get 1 okay so the way to prove that this is true okay is by first doubling this sum over here okay so you're going to say that 2 multiplied by this sum is going to be equal to 2 over 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 over 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 over 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 over 2 to the power of 4 plus dot 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 plus 2 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 plus 2 over 2 to the power of n okay so the first way to get this proof the first way to prove this is by multiplying this sum up here by 2 okay and I'm going to show you the next step that you need to take so you have 2 times the sum okay is equal to this value over here to the right this is going to translate into 1 because 2 over 2 is equal to 1 plus um, 1 over 2 because this over here is in fact 2 over 4 which is a half plus 1 over 4 okay because 2 over 8 is the same as a quarter plus following the logic 1 over 8 plus dot 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 plus 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 2 plus 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 1 okay we see over here okay if we compare this fraction over here and this fraction over here we see that this exponential here is going to go down by one okay so we end up with one over two 
Now the same thing is going to happen to this fraction over here. If you have 2 over 2 to the power of n minus 1, you're going to end up with 1 over 2 to the power of n minus 2, okay? Because this exponential here is going to go down by 1. It's going to be shift down by 1. And we can say the same about this exponential over here when we compare this fraction with this fraction over here. Okay, this exponential is going to be dragged down by 1. All right, so if we multiply the sum that we started off with by 2, we end up with this over here. And I'm going to show you the next step you need to take to get closer to your proof. So we've established that 2 times the sum that we started off with is equal to this value on the right, okay? Can we spot a pattern in this value? What is inside these brackets over here? Now, I'm going to tell you what's inside those brackets. We have our original sum, okay? The original sum that we started off with but we get rid of this over here, okay? 1 over 2 to the power of n. So what we end up with is just this over here, okay? So we can say that what we have in brackets over here, all right, inside these brackets over here is our original sum okay, minus 1 over 2 to the power of n, okay? So, 2 times our original sum is equal to 1 plus our original sum minus 1 over 2 to the power of n. Now, from here, if we manipulate this formula or equation, we are going to end up with our original sum is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n, okay? This is because we subtract our original sum from both sides of the equation, okay? So, we now have this. Okay, now I'm going to show you something really cool. In the limit, okay, in the limit, as n approaches infinity, as the number of terms approaches infinity, okay, 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of n converges to 1 or equals 1, all right? It's because this over here becomes, let me write this down, negligible. What the hell is happening to my pen? <laughs> so, this over here, this fraction over here becomes negligible, okay? Let's say that n, that exponent over here, reaches infinity. This fraction over here is going to become that we might as well say it doesn't exist, okay? It's virtually zero. And because this is the case, if we have this sequence over here, okay, starting at r equals 1, all right, two infinity terms, we end up with one, all right? It's because of all the work that we've done, we can discover this mathematical truth over here, that this sequence is going to converge to one, all right? And we have our proof. Now, I know this video has been a bit rusty, I know that I should have said sequence at times. I know that I should have used the word exponent instead of exponentials. And I know that my pen broke down somewhere in this video. 
but I hope you can appreciate the content that I'm sharing sharing with you and I can also say I haven't made a video in four months so I hope you know you're not going to be too harsh on me anyway I hope you've liked this video and uh, if you want more mathematical proofs subscribe to my YouTube channel by the way just before I go uh, let me tell you about my two Instagram accounts on my main Instagram account, the one you see in this video right now, I've got geometric art and mathematical proofs. And on my second Instagram account, I just have mathematical proofs. You can show your support and love by following any of these pages and liking the content that's there. I'm sure you're going to love it. Anyway, adios.